Welcome low ego action heroes. I'm Debbie Levitt from Delta CX. We are a full service CX and UX consultancy. And this is my Axure 10 core skills course. I've been using Axure since February, 2011, and I've been teaching it for many, many years. And in fact, I've been one of Axure's recommended trainers since 2014. This course is designed to take you from super Axure newbie or Axure afraid all the way through to confident intermediate. So if you've landed on this one video, there are many, many others. Please check our Axure lessons playlist for a lot more videos about using Axure. The Delta CX YouTube channel has over 500 videos on it as of when I'm recording this in December 2021, and I hope you'll subscribe and join in some of our live streams. I'm live usually three or four times a week with teaching UX research and design, talking about CX, helping people get into the profession, helping leaders and managers, and of course, don't forget, Tuesday office hours, ask me anything. So subscribe and hang out here. So thanks for being here. Please subscribe and let's jump into that next actual lesson. Let's take a quick look at the pen tool. I don't teach this one with too much depth because I am a terrible artist. So uh, let's uh, customize this quickly so that we can see the pen tool as well as uh, points. Okay, great. And let's get some labels on these things. So if you don't have that, check your toolbar for the pen tool here. And these would be points. And basically this is similar to the pen tool that you're going to know from other software. Now, again, I am not an artist, so here's how I like to show the pen tool. Click, 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 click and drag to get a curve. Click and drag to get a curve and click. And then eventually you will have created a shape. And of course, you've got all of your points, you have your curves, you can adjust these if you want. So for those of you who are actually good at art, as I am not, you will know what to do here. I am just making a mess of it, of course. And uh, I think that there's a way to add points here. Let's see, I think I can add a point here. Come on, Axure, don't be grumpykins. Uh, let's see, let's select this point. Oh, okay. It was, it was where I was before. Fantastic. Uh, and add a point. And of course, now I can do what I like with that, turn it into a curve, the usual things. So curve. So that was my context menu. I can turn it into a curve. I can uncurve it, or of course I can just remove the point. Now, one of the benefits of using the pen tool in Axure, even though this uh, might not be as robust as other pieces of software you're used to, is because the more you can build out of Axure shapes and the less you can bring in images, uh, the smaller your file size will be. And depending upon how many images you've brought in, sometimes you can compromise performance. It does take a lot or high quality images to compromise that performance, but it is something to still think about. So the nice thing about having the shape is that we can then do things with the shape. We can fill it with a color or with a uh, gradient uh, if you're feeling funky. We can give it a border or an outline uh, of different colors or different widths. Beautiful, as always, we can give it a, a lovely, lovely drop shadow. Um, shadows in Axure are extremely, extremely simple. This is a prototype. It's meant to be a representation of what it might be later. It's not meant to be, uh, you know, Adobe Creative Suite. So things are sometimes a little bit simpler than you might prefer, but I always think of it as, hey, that's good enough. And because it is an Axure shape, it also means that it can be easily resized, it can be copied and pasted, it could be made into a library element, you can do what you like, you can build interactions on it. Um, but in short, that would be the pen tool and working with some of the points. I usually don't teach much more than that because again, I am not an artist. So you do not want to see me make more of these shapes. That one is already too many. See you in the next video.